What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Gank Nations. This is the Game Hunter channel. I'm really upset with the developers and Playdemic because now all of a sudden I'm watching Gangs movie like crazy. <laughs> I saw Gangs in New York the other day and then I started watching uh, Blood In Blood Out. So, okay, your game has got me completely and really enjoying it. So, what we're going to do, because this episode is dedicated to the dozer, we're going to have, first of all, uh, review a couple of replays because I always receive commentaries in my previous and some other games asking me, oh, please do some more defense videos. We're going to see your base in action. We're going to see how your base is actually performing against some big attacks so probably one of the ideas of this let's play i'm gonna dedicate one sectional portion of the episode to to do some replays right right now i'm holding quite okay <laughs> as you guys can see well that right now this guy's gonna get in range of those two rifle rifle tower and also my sniper tower so those shooters should be going down quite easily right remember you cannot cover or protect everything okay you need to design your base base in what you want to protect okay sometimes well of course the main the main concern is the mansion okay if you compare this game with some others like a clash of clans so for example tiny troopers in tiny troopers the headquarter or the main base only counts as a 25 percent of the victory in clash of clans the the main base count as a 50 percent in gang nation <laughs> the mansion count as a hundred percent so you can avoid everything else you don't need to destroy anything else as long as you destroy the mansion so yes that's why it's a little bit tricky and that's why i'm enjoying this game so much because uh, i'm finding ways to attack and rush enemy bases without even engaging the enemy defensive buildings right because for me the whole objective is the mansion right sometimes it's good to destroy just resources building depending if one base has a lot of resources for example this one is a really good attack uh because the he's putting a couple of shooters in different angles where my defense uh, defensive buildings are completely completely useless uh so he's able to destroy a couple of my resource building and of course after that the main main force is going to come from the main entrance with some tugs i can see some tugs they're probably gonna try to bring down my barricade but again that was the whole idea i have my mortar i have uh, sniper towers protecting those barricades once they break the first one they're gonna probably go for the mortar and in the meantime i got the rifle tower on those two sniper towers taking care of the rest so even when it was a really good attack um my base was able to hold without any problem the mansion is just just untouched but again, well, he, he got a lot of loot, but that's about the deal. Sometimes you, you're you going to lose some uh, resources, but sometimes the most important thing, of course, is the mansion. All right? This is another interesting attack when you start spreading your forces. Remember that it's really smart because you cannot deploy all your units in the same spot. You cannot. Look at that RPG tower that I have in top. <laughs> a lot of splash damage. If you have troops, a lot of troops together. The RPG is going to bring them down in one shot, guys. So be careful. Okay. Uh, like I said, the whole idea is to spread your forces. Um, oh, wow. Let me see. RPG bringing down those guys like nothing. Of course, if we start rushing with some shooters in front of the RPG, with the, the RPG, the rate of fire is not that great. So at one point, it's going to go down. But in general, having the sniper tower in the back on my base is also helping me a lot, right? See, it's bringing down all those guys that are trying to destroy my juice factory. And that will do it, right? See, it was a decent attack. One more time, 22% of damage. Um, I put my mansion in the middle for obvious reasons, because the whole idea is to protect what is most important. Uh, if I lose resources, that's fine, okay? And actually, it's a good idea to put resources built on that side, because sometimes the, the enemies are going to get like a <laughs> tempted like this one start deploying some thieves to probably steal some of the juice that i have um that wasn't really effective because i got my rpg in the top i got my sniper turrets in the bottom and so far like i said the, the base is doing quite okay um that's why i, I wanted to share with you guys all these uh, videos on defense too because it's really important to find a way to protect your base and in, in this case it was okay one more time we did quite quite decent 
All right, so let's take a look to the base. I want to show you the sniper tower I got in front. See, I decided to change the location on my mansion, and now they are the RPG post, which is a robust defensive unit that attacks ground and air unit. Damage per second is not that great, it's only 10. Hit points is 380. The good thing is that attack, it, this building can attack ground and air units, which is interesting. But if you compare that one with the rifle post and the sniper post, well, the RPG, you might think it's going to do a lot of damage, but it's not. It's only 10 per second. The only difference is splash damage. So there's, if there's more units in the area, of course, it's going to do damage to all those units. Okay. So in this episode, we're going to dedicate it to... This is dedicated to the Dozen. Dozer. Remember? This guy is a pro at cleaning a path through enemy territory. Ground per sec, uh, damage per second is 22, recruit cost is 2000, hit points 230, target tab is civilian, house and space is 12, that's the tricky part. So you need to know how and when to deploy it, it's not just like a unit that you can deploy like a like a shooter, okay? because it's really expensive. So we're going to try to use the dozer in a couple of attacks, see if we can flank couple of enemies, probably catch them <laughs> from behind. Um, attack directly that mansion so what we're gonna do for example in this one a couple of we're gonna deploy those guys in the back try to distract the mortar and in the meantime here comes the cavalry demolition man mr dozer look at that destroying the civilian buildings this is this is such an amazing unit i love it i love it once that one of the buildings is done one of the civilian buildings is done there is a road right away for the rest of my talks and the shooters to get in the middle of the enemy base you cannot tell me that this is not cool because it is all right this is the cool that's the coolest unit in this game so far um completely unique um i was really concerned at the beginning like i said that the how the dozer is gonna i thought the dozer is just to destroy barricades or defensive buildings that's all and now when i notice what is the real power of the dozer whew, are you kidding me <laughs> here we go let's, let's try another attack let's see if we can actually use the dozer one more time our demolition unit and it's unique. I don't remember seeing a unit like this in some other strategy games, right? And I, I don't know. And you know what? Every unit in this game fit so well so far. Okay, I haven't, I haven't gone down far. The Dozer, the Tuck is the highest unit that I have. But so far, everything fits amazingly well. One more time, we make a hold with the Dozer. Dozer, yep, finally. Yep, the road is open, Dozer is, is down, doesn't matter, we got some tugs, those tugs are gonna probably aim at that sniper tower, in the meantime have some shooters attacking to the mansion directly. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of fun at the beginning just doing some Dozer Rush, because that's the way I call this strategy. Dozer Rush is the one that I uh, start making a hole in the enemy neighborhood and just deploy some other units <laughs> it's, just, it's just so cool let's go for another attack and see if we can do something here uh ba -dum -bum. okay this one is a little bit tricky sometimes the dozer doesn't work 100 percent because if they destroy the dozer when it's actually in the middle of the demolition job uh you're gonna be in trouble okay because remember the dozer uses 12 housing space which is a lot okay so look at that if, if you deploy the dozer and they fail um yeah chances are that <laughs> probably your attack is not gonna it's not gonna be that successful trust me because a dozer it counts like a 12 shooters right all right so we put the dozer and then right away start putting some shooters in the back to help the dozer to bring down those civilian buildings now that the hole is made this shouldn't be a problem uh, big concern is the mortar. The mortar is a really is really well located, so we'll see how this works. Remember, this doesn't work all the time. It doesn't work with every base. Okay, so you have to be careful. Don't get crazy. Don't don't think that the dose is gonna save you every every time. And this, I mean, this episode is dedicated to the dose. That's when I'm gonna use it in every attack. But in general, that doesn't happen. Okay, so be careful. Right now, my big concern is that mortar over there i don't know if those shooters are going to be capable to destroy the mansion 
probably now we're still in 38% damage. If we're not destroying the mansion, if we get 50%, that'll be good enough. See, right now, that mortar, like I say, is in a really good spot. So even when the dozer create a whole highway <laughs> in the backyard of this neighborhood, uh, probably it's not going to be enough. You see, and the short range of the shooters is going to make impossible for me to destroy that mansion. I got one extra tuck. Oh, we got one, one of the, the stars, which is good. We won this battle, but the mansion didn't went down. Okay, so like I say. The dozer is a really amazing unit, but it's not gonna save you every time, and you gotta be careful how you use it. Probably, probably in that attack, I should probably use the dozer in another location. Uh, try to go straight for the mortar. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna try to probably do it in this one. See, uh, I got a mortar, the mansion, and the sniper turret, sniper post. That's all that is protecting the mansion. So we should be able to easily attack from the back. So we're gonna probably deploy a couple of holums and some shooters just to distract the mortar, okay? Once that the mortar is uh, busy shooting some, to some other target, is the time of the dozer. Look at that. Here comes the dozer. <laughs> Making a big hole. It is the time to deploy some shooters. Shooters are gonna help the dozer to bring down the, the mortar. And once that the mortar is down, here comes the tugs. See, they're gonna target the uh, enemy defensive building, so they're gonna go straight for the sniper turret of the rifle post. In the meantime, I have the rest of my shooters taking care of the mansion, which is what we want. See, see how useful is the dozer? That's why it really, it is completely worth it to make an episode dedicated to this unit, because I can guarantee you. You're gonna enjoy this game so much just using the dozer and <laughs> trying to flank enemy bases. Try to use the dozer in one way that you can try to, like I said, flank an enemy mansion. Perfect. See, another attack successful. So, as long as we destroy the mansion, it's a hundred percent successful raid. So we gotta we're gonna continue. We're gonna do a couple more attacks in this episode, the dozer. And some bases are really easy to destroy. For example, this one, it shouldn't be a big problem. I can probably put it from behind and destroy that bar or something like that, right? Or we can go straight for the mansion. See? <laughs> That's the cool thing about the dozer. The dozer also can destroy the mansion. It's going to take longer, of course. But in the meantime, you can create a hole, make a hole in there. And then you can put some shooters in the back to support this troop. Let me see. Attacking directly to the mansion. I got some shooters in the back. Those shooters are gonna shoot at that juice bar and then I'm gonna start targeting. Yes, targeting the mansion and targeting those juice containers. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Those rush. The dozer rush. Demolition man. Pretty effective unit and really fun unit, guys. Look at that. Bring it down that. Oh, of course, the dozer cannot do enough damage to that mansion but that's why you deploy a couple of the shooters of some other units in the back to support it uh, we should be able to bring down this building in no time you know we already avoid the mortar we avoid the sniper tower we avoid the rifle post and everything <laughs> this is so fun we only had we only deploy nice shooters and one dozer and that was more than enough to destroy this base all right, what is this? Uh, let's see if we can do something about it in this one. Let's try to combine like a real attack with the dozer. Since right now there's only one entrance to the mansion. So it's time to deploy a couple shooters. Those shooters should be able to break down those uh, juice, juice factories. And then we can attack those residential business to steal the money. Once that we have a hole is when we can start planning and deploying some columns and also some talks. Talks are gonna start targeting at the enemy defensive buildings. And in the meantime, of course, you can start planning a second entrance, right? Now that you have the attention of the mortar, the sniper pause, here comes the dozer to create another passage. <laughs> Let's create another row, okay? That way we should be able to bring more units to the battlefield. There you go. Now we have a second hole. Now we can attack from both sides and things. That's gonna get really nasty for you, my friend. This is game over, man. <laughs> a bunch of shooters 
attacking directly to the mansion. There's no chance that you can survive that. Like I said, now you need to start playing your base a little bit better, okay? Because with the Dozer as a unit, I don't think it's going to be that easy, right? So be careful. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is the game Hunter. We're going to continue with more gang nations. I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.